Hello Techies! In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to work with Detect Long Wave Action as part of Microsoft Test Analytics. Now, in this tutorial, we'll work for a small use case for Detect Long Wave Action. If you see on my screen, I'm having an Excel with the name of Detect Long Wave, where I'm having n number of rows over here. I have given the text over here in A column. And after that, I have given long ways column as B column. And if you can see the C column as detection long ways and the D column English text. This column will be taken care of in the upcoming session. Right now, we are going to work with these columns that is A column and the C column. All right. In my A column, I'm having some text over here in a such a way Power Automate is the best RPA tool in the market. The same text has been copied in the different languages. One is English, another one is Spanish, the third one is Arabic, and the Swedish. So this language I have given it over here to make you understand. So I'm not going to use this column at all. Just for your reference, I'm going to use this column to make you understand what, which language the particular text has been given, all right? I'm going to pass this text to the detect language action and the given output I'm going to store or I'm going to write the data in the C column that is detection long ways column. All right. Now, if you see over here, I'm having four texts that is from A2, A3, A4 and A5 rows that I'm having the data. I have already developed an use case for the detect long ways action. There you can see as a first step, I'm going to launch an Excel where I'm going to open the document of the detect long ways Excel. And after that, I'm going to read the data from the Excel and then I'm going to store in the Excel data data table that is flow variable, right? And after that, once I have read the data from by using read from Excel worksheet, I'm going through the loop in the Excel data by using for each action and I'm going to store the current row in the current item variable, right? The current item, I'm going to pass the data into the detect long ways. And once it has been identified the long ways of the given text, then it will be stored the output in the JSON response. If you see the JSON response, I'm having JSON response of documents of zero is the item and the detected long ways inside that I'm having name, right? Whatever the output that we got it from the JSON response, I'm going to write it into the Excel, into the column C by using write to Excel worksheet action. And once it has been done, I'm going to save the Excel. It will go through the loop based on the number of rows are available in the particular Excel. Once it has been completed, I'm going to close the Excel over here, all right? Now, if you observe over here, I'm having row value. I'm going to set a variable as row value equal to one. This row value I have initiated as one because we have to increase the row number for every loop, right? For every iteration. In that case, at the initialization, I have done row value as one. And there you can see increase variable I have increased by one. So that the row will get it as two at the first time and the you can see over here, I'm going to give it as row value over here so that it will go to the column C and the row value as two and whatever the output we are going to get it in the detect long way that will be pasted over here or that will be written over here by using write to Excel worksheet action. All right, now we'll see the detect long way over here once again. Let's open the detect long way over here. You can see I have given the server location as East US and the subscription key, which we have generated for the text analytics API that the same subscription key I have copied over here. And if you see the text over here, what is the text I need to pass in the current item, which are coming from the Excel data flow variable, which I have been already given in the Excel, right? So that, that, that will be given as an input over here for the detect long ways. Once the input has been given to the detect long ways, we'll get the output in the JSON response as long ways or the detected long ways with the name and the status code for the, we will get it as 200 for the successful request and response, 
whereas 400 for the bad request and response. All right. Now, once again, let me show you the Excel over here. I'm having the text over here, which I'm going to read from A2, A3, A4, and A5. These are going through the loop so that I have given read from Excel worksheet as A2 is the row till A5 row. I'm going to read it and I'm going to store it in Excel data. All right. I have not developed right now because of these are all the actions you are aware of that one is launch Excel, read from Excel worksheet, set variable. These all the actions we have already covered in our previous sessions. All right. Now let's run the flow to see the output. Flow execution started and it is trying to launch an Excel by using launch Excel. And after that, by using read from Excel, it has read the data and then it has stored in Excel data. Now set variable row value, it has been given as one and you can see it is going through the loop by using for each action. Now we got the output from detect language action as English. The first text, if you see on my screen in the text, as we have seen, this is power automate is the best RPA tool in the market. All right. This is the text, the first row that is a two row, which we have given so that it's got, it has given the output as English. All right. Let's click on. Okay. Now it is going through the loop. It is going for the second text. Now, if you see, I got Spanish. All right. Now I'm going to write the data into the right to Excel worksheet. Third one as Arabic. And the fourth one as Swedish language, right? These are all the rows have been detected by using detect language action. All right. Now let's click on OK. Now it has closed the Excel. Now let me open the Excel once again. Now, if you see the output over here, I got the detection language over here as English, Spanish, Arabic, and Swedish, right? This, uh, this column we have not used and uh, C column only we have used and the respective language which has been detected by using detect language action. We have written the same language over here in these columns. Now, if you compare both the values over here, you can see the first text is English and the second text is in Spanish and the third text is in Arabic and the fourth text is in Swedish languages, right? The detection language is 100% correct with the languages which we have given in the text value. All right. I hope you understand how to work with detection language action as part of this use case. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.